Well, that was my second time in Cambodia. Uh, the first time I was there, I was covering um, a section on, in the uh, magazine on um, peacemakers in Cambodia, which went very well. And uh, during the, my first visit, I met this. Um, I met a Khmer man named Max Soka, and he worked in um, he worked in an orphanage all by himself. He is um, he survived the Khmer Rouge genocide himself, and um, he has a lot of love for children, especially children who live um, in the what they call the landfill. It's actually um, an enormous piece of land where there's just garbage and garbage and garbage and children, orphans, mostly orphans live there and they scavenge off whatever they can find on this landfill and they, they sell it for about a dollar a day to survive. And um, so what Sokka does is that he takes these children in well, first of all, he buys three um, three buildings, which he builds into CCH1, CCH2, and CCH3. CCH stands for Center for Children's Happiness. And um, in the first building, he has begun um, a school, an international school, where everything is actually taught in English. And the second and third buildings um, houses about 50, 50 girls and then another house, 50 boys. And these orphans, their ages range from um, 6 to 18. And um, I've even met one who was um, almost my age. And he's waiting to get a scholarship to go overseas. The uh, Stung Myung Che landfill. Uh, in my first visit there, I got to go into the landfill and meet the people who live there, who actually live in the landfill. And uh, I made a huge mistake. And I was wearing flip-flops. And um, I was actually knee-deep in garbage burnt plastic and other things that can't be too good for your health. Um, there were several kids there still, and uh, more adults now, and they've just been picking up um, garbage the entire day, things like can, bottles, um, paper, so that they can recycle it the next day for, for a couple of cents or a dollar. Yeah, and um, the good thing was this time, my second visit, um, they closed the landfill, so either they really closed it for good or they just they just decided they're not going to let foreigners go into the landfill anymore and film whatever's happening. Um, so this time during my visit, I promised Sokka in my last visit that I would help him whenever I could. So during my Christmas holidays, I decided to spend six weeks in Cambodia where I, um, where I taught history and, um, and English in the orphanage. Uh, I dealt with mainly children between the ages of 16 to 18, so relatively old kids. Um, they were so very, very good in English compared to the, uh, the younger ones. Um, some of them were exposed to um, overseas education, um, and the others went to international schools in Phnom Penh. So every day, every morning, I'd go to CACH at about 8 o'clock in the morning, where I'd start teaching all the way till 11.30. Then I'd take a break and then continue in the afternoon.